girl Grace aka Face Quizit here and today I'm coming at you with this gorgeousness that I'm rocking oh my god divas do you see this I absolutely love this I haven't done bold looks like this in a while and you know my past um, couple of looks have been bold you know um, um, if you remember Beauty Bay sent me that Morphe 12 P palette and put me in for that um, Feeling Fearless challenge and they wanted me to create something bold and wonderful with that palette and I looked at that palette and I was like Lord Jesus it has to be bold <laughs> so I created it and I was like oh wow I haven't you know done anything like this in a while so um, I then went ahead and created um, something with the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place which is this one so that was the last one I created and um, so today I decided that I wanted to create something really bold, something really popping. So I reached for my Juvia's Place Mask Grey Palette, which is this one. I absolutely love, 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 love this. This is currently my favourite out of the Juvia's Place, um, you know, eyeshadow palettes. I've got all four. Um, Nubian 1, Nubian 2. Actually, I love Nubian 2 as well. Mm, I don't know. Out of the two, Nubian 2. Okay, let's say I have two joint favourites. I have the Nubian 2 and the Masquerade palette are my favourites. But I also love the, I love the Nubian 1 and I also love the Saharan palette. And I'll love the next one that they release because, you know, ugh, you have to love Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes. They're just so fabulous and on fleek and just so pigmented and so just lovely divas. They are lovely, lovely, lovely. And they are consistent with their formula. So you're not going to get a palette that's kind of dry and da 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 and then you get the next one that's good. No. They are consistent with their formula, so that's what I really love about Juvia's Place. Okay, Divas? So yeah, today I'm going to be using that Masquerade palette that I just showed you. Um, and that's what I used to create this look, and I'm really excited about it. It's spring after all. But you know, for this, you know, for this look, Divas, I, I'm just going to show you my eyes, because come on now. <laughs> you don't need to see anything else. I've got a video on all the other things. But I will show you how I created these eyes um, and everything else I'm going to be doing off camera. Oh, God, divas. So, yeah. Lego, honeys. If you want to learn how to do this. Or if you just want to see how I created it, let's go. And don't forget to tag me in your recreations. Just hashtag at Facequisite on Instagram or tag me at Facequisite on Facebook, Twitter, you know, if you create this look. All right, my honeys, let's not get too much into all this talking. Let's start this tutorial. <laughs> Okay, Diva, so I changed my mind. It's not going to be a voiceover. So from now on, I'm going to talk. So what I just used now is the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place. And I just took the color Katsina, which is this brown right here. And that is what I applied in my crease. Next, I'm taking the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm going to be picking this um, color right here called Cairo. It's a burnt orange colour with some gold um, reflects in it. And the pigmentation, oh my goodness. The pigmentation is the ish, divas. Look at that. Wow. I'm going back in with the LOX 221 by Zoeva and I'm going to take this next colour from the Masquerade palette which is this hot pink called Bori. That's going to be my next transition colour. The pigmentation you do this, oh my god. I am going to take my Ben Nye Lumiere Cream Colors 
Okay, so I'm gonna take two colors, right? I, I was gonna just focus on this and then go back into this, but now I'm gonna do it both, both at once. I'm going to start off with the white, and then I'm going to, so the white is going to be in the inner corner, um, like a quarter of my lid, and the blue is going to be on um, three quarters of my lid. Every time I cover, the, um, show you the palette, the light just covers, the things cover the light, which is not cool. Okay, so this color is called Ice. And okay now Divas, so I've applied that Ice um, white looking color on my lids. Now I'm going into this blue which is um, cosmic blue right there and I'm going to apply that onto the rest of my lid. And this is going to act as a base for the colors I'm going to be applying. Not to be quite honest, not that dubious place eyeshadows need any base quite frankly. They pop on their own. They don't need any help whatsoever. This is just me being Extra. The first color I'm taking is this um, Zola. It's an aqua color from my masquerade palette, and I. Oh my God! Look at this color. Jeez. Next I'm taking this color right next to it. I'm taking this D Dahlia color which is next to Zola. Zola is what I applied before, now I'm taking Dahlia. And I'm going to apply it next to, Zol to Zola, but it's going to slightly overlap. You know, this camera is not showing how gorgeous this color is. I feel like the light is washing out the color somewhat, and that is really annoying me. It really is, because these colors are popping more than this in real life, and this silly camera is kind of just washing it out. Well, not the camera, but the light. But then again, I need the light, otherwise it's gonna look dark. The video's gonna look dark, because I don't have enough light coming in. To use natural light, which is a shine. So I always prefer natural light because then you see what you see is what you get, or what you get is what you see. Am I making sense? Anyway, get my drift. All right, lovelies. My next color is going to be from the same palette, and it's going to be Chi, which is this color right here. And I'm going to apply that next to Dahlia. So all these colors are overlapping one another. So all you see is a gradient of blues. How gorge is that? Hmm? I'm gonna go back into that crease and I'm taking Zobo this time, Divas. I'll come back to my lid in a minute. I'm taking this color Zobo. Let's soften this up. Inti binti bit. We don't want any harshness. Sorry, I got cut off there, Divas. I was just yapping away. Didn't realize the camera stopped. Basically, what I was saying is that um, I'm doing this now because I feel like if I had gone in um, with this earlier, I would have lost the intensity. So I decided to do it after, after I applied my lid colors. Um, yeah. So I'm going to do the same thing underneath. I'm going to take these three colors, um, Zola, Dahlia, and Chi, and I'm going to apply them under my eye.
as you can see divas I did not apply um, you know a base onto my lower lid and the eyes are popping just as much so I don't really need a base Okay, Diva, so now I'm going into this um, color right here, this color right here called Giza. And I'm going to apply that into my inner tear duct just to, yeah, get a little bit of a highlight. I'm going to apply a little bit of that same color onto my brow bone, just a tingling a bit. Okay, so divas, I'm going to go and line my waterline, apply some mascara and my lashes, and then I'll come back and finish off the rest of the face. You know, you've seen me do my liner, and that, I've got a video on how to apply false lashes. So uh, in order to save time, I'm not going to do that in this video, but I'll be right back. So hey, you have it divas. This is the final look. I hope you really like it as much as I do. Hey, you have it my divas. This is the final look. I hope you really like it as much as I do. <laughs> there you go. I just composed the song right there. And you see I have got talent, please. <laughs> But yeah, divas, this is it. I'm quite loving this colourful look. I've missed colourful looks. It's been a minute since I did something this colourful and I love it. Thank you, Adjuvia's Place. Oh my God, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Beautiful. Yes, I know, I'll stick to the day job, divas. But yes. Honeys. <laughs> but yeah my honeys this is it this is the final look let me just quickly talk you through what I've got on the rest of my face because as you know I did that off camera so my lashes are some mink lashes that I got off eBay I tend to get most of my mink lashes off eBay and they yeah because they're not as expensive as you know the other ones I shan't mention names but I do get um, you know, um, other lashes like, you know, human hair lashes or synthetic or whatever in brand names. But my wink lashes, I refuse to pay £30 or something for a pair of lashes. Oh, please. I don't care if I have to wear it a hundred times. I am still not paying 30 quid for a pair of lashes. Are you kidding me, divas? No way. So, anywho, these are some fabulous ones I got off eBay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, darlings. Um, yeah, so I've worn them quite a few times, so... I revisited them today. I figured a look this fabulous these lashes. It's fabulous. Oh, can I? <laughs> but yeah, and um, on my um, for my hat lighter, I'm using um, Laura Geller's Glided Honey, which is um, one of my favorites. Um, this one and the what's it called again? Snow Gold by. Um, Makeup addiction, yeah, but I prefer this one simply because I'm not really into the you know the highlight that's beaming off your cheekbones. I mean, there are times for that, and when I want that, I go into my OPV lashes, um, highlighter, stardust, um, and which other one? You know, I have some that you know, if I really want to make a statement, but I hardly ever. I love my, you know, just a little beam off my, um, you know, cheekbones, such as this one. So, yeah, I'm using, I use my Laura Geller Glided Honey for this. I also have um, a trio, it's got the, it's got two other ones, I can't remember their names, which I got from um, Beauty Bay. I got this one from, um, Debenhams, Debenhams, but I got the trio pack from Beauty Bay and I use that on my clients. It's got this one and a couple of others in, so Beauty Bay is your friend. And they have this one too. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh yeah, for my blush I've used today um, Body Up by MAC, which is this one right here. Um, for my um, highlight, um, I've used um 
highlight and contouring the cream I've used uh, my um, <laughs> LA Girl Pro concealer in okay so for the highlight I used the color I can't read this divas my eyes oh sorry this is the yellow corrector I used to mix this with another one but now I just use it on its own I just like it better and for my contouring I've used the dark cocoa which is this and then I've set my highlight divas with my RCMA powder the ones they do now come with a black top but like I said I've had this forever and then I lost it and then I discovered it again after some years <laughs> it was in my training kit can you believe and because I didn't do training for a while I didn't think to look in there but that's where it was so I have since been using it I refuse to buy another one until this runs out and as you can see it's still got plenty in it so anywho that's what I um, set I'm sorry set my highlight with um, and um, for my contouring I set it with the um, slick face contour kit which has become my favorite and this is the medium and I set it, I don't really touch the highlight in here, I just use the contouring um, thingy majiggy, which is this one. So that's what I've been using for some time now, when I really want, you know, my cheeks to look chiseled. <laughs> um, what else? You saw everything else, that's it divas, that's what I used. Um, oh yeah, and for foundation today, I'm using the Kiko Unlimited Foundation um in warm beige i bought this a while back and i wasn't sure about it so i put it away um and then i tried it the other day and i i just fell in love with it all over again so i've started using that because before i was using my milani perfect and conceal in tan and i dare say i like this better i mean i've dumped <laughs> I've done my Studio Fix Fluid by MAC for these, not because I don't love um, my Studio Fix Fluid, but because these are just as good and they are for a fraction of the price. So, sorry MAC, I love you still, but yeah. So that's what I've got on. Oh, and on my lips I'm wearing, I've got um, MAC Plum Lip Light. This is my go-to lippies, Divas. You should know this by now. <laughs> you know but um if i want a nude pinky lip you know and of course with a bold eye like this i'm not gonna put i'm not gonna rock a bold lip with a bold eye you know i wanted the focus to be on my eyes okay so yes i've got this nude look on my lips so i've lined my lips with plum lip liner and i filled it in with sorry cream cup and yes i got a new one <laughs> Remember I used to dig it out of the thingy because it was it was nearly gone and I'll scoop it out like there's still some left, there's still some left. But anyway, I got another one divas. <laughs> so I've used that and then on top of that, oh god I can't find it, but I've got just superb um, lip gloss also by MAC. So everything on my lips is MAC. Plum lip liner, um, cream cup lipstick and just superb lip gloss by MAC. Um, and that's it divas. I hope you like this look. Are you gonna try it out? If you do, go ahead and tag me in your recreations. I'd love to see it. Tag me on Instagram. I'm at Squizzit. And just, um, let's tag it. Um, what, what are we gonna tag it now? Any ideas down below? But make sure you put Squizzit in it, okay? <laughs> and if I think of something else, I'll post it on, um, cause my name is long, Squizzit. I don't know what to call it, but yeah. Um, if you have the Juvia's Place palette, the Masquerade palette is what I use, which is this pink one. You just saw me do it, Divas. This is what I used. So yeah, if you ever recreate it, holler at your girl. Let me know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love this palette. Oh, I love it. I love my Juvia's Place palettes. And I am proud to say I am the owner of all four. Thank you very much. And I can't wait for the next one to come out. But yeah, this is what I created. So there you have it my divas, this is it. So remember, if you wanna tag me, go ahead and tag me. It's at Facequizit, or you can just hashtag Facequizit um, on um, social media, especially Instagram. Tag me on Instagram, at, hashtag Facequizit, F-A-C-E. Anyway, look at it on the screen now. <laughs> okay divas, so yeah, until next time, stay fabulous, stay on fleek. Remember you are 
the daughter of the Most High King and therefore you should raise your head up high, stand tall because divas you are queens, okay? Don't let anyone put you down, don't let anyone get you upset, don't let anyone put you in the bad mood. They are not worth it, okay? Remain happy, remain blessed, remember Jesus loves you and of course you know I love you too divas. Come on now, you're my girls, mm, my ace, my peeps. I love you so much. Thank you so much, Divas. Until next time, stay fabulous. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.